Hello guys, welcome back to MuvaSuket with AutoCAD 3D modeling practice exercise number 48 how to make a 3D combination range. This is uh, next uh, tutorial from our previous tutorial 2D combination range. You can see in our channel MuvaSuket uh, channel in YouTube and click uh, this uh, video design 2D combination range to create a 2D sketch. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can click here and click OK. Next, active a notification checklist and save to get our new tutorials. Okay, we start now. First, uh, I will uh, copy this object. You can type uh, copy, enter, select uh, this object, and move uh, to the rack here uh, 50. I will uh, delete uh, in here. Okay, and I will delete uh, this uh, object can select uh, this object delete next uh, I will uh, trim in here and select this object uh, delete okay I will select uh, this object delete and use a uh, trim command to cut uh, in here okay I will cut uh, in here and then select uh, delete click here delete and I will delete uh, this uh, circle. Okay, now I will use a uh, boundary command. You can click a uh, pick points. I will select at uh, this point, enter, and we extrude the last object. Okay, the last object, enter with uh, hike uh, egg. Next, uh, we use uh, trim command to cut uh, this uh, object and use a uh, boundary command to boundary this uh, area enter and we extrude uh, the last object with a uh, hack uh, 6 enter okay i will uh, copy this uh, circle object uh, to the left uh, 50 and then so we extrude this object and this object uh, to the top uh, egg Okay, and this uh, subtract command to subtract uh, this object with uh, this uh, object. Okay, I will use a uh, boundary. You can click at uh, this area, enter, and then extrude the last object and this object with hack uh, egg. Okay, move. You can move uh, this object uh, to the rack uh, 50. And we subtract this uh, object with uh, this object. Okay, this uh, move command to move uh, this object uh, to the left uh, 50 and enter. Change into realistic view to view the object. Okay, we create uh, this uh, 3D models. And then so I will move uh, this object to the top of one. Okay, I will move uh, to the top one. And uh, I will use uh, offset edge, offset edge to correct offset at uh, this face. Okay, with uh, this 10, uh, 2 and 2. Okay, next we correct uh, offset again, offset edge at this face with uh, this 10, 2 and 2. Okay, I will change into 2D wireframe and we extrude. You can type uh, extrude, select uh, this object, extrude uh, to the bottom here 1, and extrude uh, this uh, object to the top uh, 1. Use a uh, subtract command to subtract uh, this object with uh, this uh, two object and enter. Okay, you can change into realistic view to view the object. Okay, we create uh, this uh, 3D sketch, and I will use a uh, union command to combine uh, this object this object and then this object enter I will uh, chamber this uh, edge but first I will move this uh, object to this point and we chamber okay chamber select uh, this edge uh, enter and then uh, base surface 1 other surface 1 select uh, loops by using loops uh, option and select uh, this edge enter to chamber okay i will chamber again in the bottom you can type chamber enter 
select uh, this edge okay base surface one and other surface one select edge with the loops select uh, this edge and enter to chamber okay that is it like uh, this okay next uh, i will uh, apply a material into this uh, object you can change into top view i will change into realistic into 2d wireframe and then we create a plan of uh, object okay plan of plan of object let up to this point to this point and then we create a camera to this point exit change into left view to view the object okay and i will change into camera one view okay next uh, you can change into realistic view okay i will press f7 to height grid and then so you can tap airmat to open a material browser i will use uh, metal material Okay, you can click metal here and click steel and use uh, galvanis. Okay, I will select uh, this object, uh, right click assign to selection. Okay, next uh, I will uh, duplicate uh, this uh, material, can duplicate and then change uh, this uh, thin's effect. Okay, I will change uh, into this color more dark and click OK. You can select uh, this object right click uh, assign to selection okay and close close now we try to rendering uh, this uh, object don't forget to active uh, full shadow and use a uh, high render okay i will active uh, environment and use a uh, background into solid uh, change into wet uh, color okay okay close and we try to render this object you can click here to render waiting for interlacing and we waiting for our rendering until finish it's about 10 level okay i think it's enough today for autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 48 how to make a combination range if you have any question about this uh, tutorial you can comment below this video and see you next time in another autocad 3d modeling practice exercise number 49